what I'd like to talk about today is the four pillars of the data skill set. Now, what this means is that uh, over my career, I've seen a lot of successful data people, and I could group their skill sets into four main buckets. Now, the reason why this is important is because if you're an aspiring data scientist, data analyst, business analyst, data junkie, whoever, then this gives you a framework to evaluate your own skills and see where you need to go next if you want to improve your skills. All right, so this is going to be the first of a three part video series. The first one, we're going to go over what are these four pillars and what do they mean. The second one is we're going to look at a leveling guide. So within these four pillars, how do you know where your skill set lands right now? How do you benchmark yourself? And then number three, which is arguably the most important, is going to be, well, what skills do you need to learn along the way in order to upgrade your levels? And this is important because you can find out where you are, do a little skills self-assessment, and then see, okay, this is the next skill that I need to learn, and this is the best resource that I need to learn it at. So let's dive into part one of three and see how this goes here. So let's go. The four pillars of a data skill set. Okay, the first pillar that we're going to look at is going to be data handling. Now, what this means from a uh, from a data perspective is literally, can you work with data? So, say you're given a data set. Say that data set has ten rows. Can you work with it? And by work with it, I mean, can you open it? Can you manipulate it? Um, can you convert your strings? Can you parse out the dates? And can you work? And can you you know manipulate it from there? Say I give you a data set with two million rows. Well, the um, limit of rows in Excel is around a million ish. What would you do then? Say I gave you a data set that was a terabyte. That was a terabyte large, and it had you know fifty million rows. What would you do then? Would you be able to handle it? Say you needed to create an ETL process. This is literally like, hey, I have three data sets. I need to extract them on a daily basis, combine them, and do something with them. That's all around this data manipulation standpoint. And data handling is literally um, how nimble are you with the different data sets. Okay, so that's skill set number one. Skill set number two is going to be around business strategy. So this is kind of a fancy word for do you know what analysis to do to drive a mission forward. So there's a common archetype within the business world that data scientists, they're very good at stats, they're not very good at business. Now that's a very large generalization and nobody come after me with pitchforks, but what I mean to say here is that you can do all the analysis that you want, but the business isn't paying you to make some fancy code. The business is paying you to create business impact. And so your level of business strategy skill is the level at which you can self, in a self-sufficient manner, translate your data uh, work into business impact and business strategy. Okay. Now the third skill set that we're going to talk about here is going to be statistical analysis. So this is when we actually get into the hard skills and the nitty gritty of the more traditional data science. So what this means is, is can you parse out patterns from your data? Now, this involves algorithms. This involves uh, anomaly detection, you know, standard deviations and means and averages and modes and all that. And this is literally, hey, I'm given a data set. Cool. Can you go a little bit deeper than surface level and see what is going on to parse out different patterns and um, insights from there? And then finally, the last data or skill set that we will look at is going to be visualization and storytelling. And it's like, okay, great. So you've done these first three. You found your insight. Wonderful. But can you communicate that insight to people who you need to do action on? What I mean to put this another way is basically the data scientist isn't the one who's going to create the marketing plan. The data scientist or the data analyst isn't the one who's going to do the go-to-market strategy. There's going to be other people within your organization that are going to be doing this work, and it's the data analyst's job to communicate their findings in order to inspire others. Another way to put this is the data analyst's job isn't to find the insight. No. It's not to create a really pretty graph. No. The data analyst's job is to inspire others 
and to motivate others to take action on top of your data. That's a tall order to ask, but that is what's going to separate the A plus data analysts and data scientists from the, uh, we'll call it not A plus data scientists. So the other piece that I want to show here too is you don't have to become a master at all four of these data skill sets. What I've seen throughout my career is that let's create uh, let's create a little level level leveling guide here. So let's just say that we're we're just creating a quick um, just a quick little say this is high, but I want to take this. I'm gonna put that in there. Say this is high, like your, your amount of skill that you have in this certain area. Say it's high right there. Okay, great. Say it's low right here. Well, your traditional business analysts, I would say that they are mostly going to be in this type of section where, let's see here. There we go. They're mostly going to be in that type of, oh, that's not high. Uh, they're going to they're gonna be with this skill set. So they're going to be high on the business strategy side. Okay then the traditional data scientist, they're going to be high on the statistical analysis. They're going to have some good data handling skills, but maybe not so much visualization. And then you have some people who are specialists in visualization and you know, they're working in D3 and some crazy JavaScript libraries or whatever it may be. They're going to be less on the um, st stats side, higher on the storytelling side. And the best part about this is it doesn't matter Oops, I'm seeing that my video is getting that in the way here. Um, it doesn't matter which skill set you choose to specialize in. What matters is that you find it interesting, you're happy, and that you're content and satisfied with your learning path and growing path. That is the most important part. Now, if I were to recommend where I think that somebody could make the most impact, I think that they're going to want a little bit of each. Um, so the business strategy side, this is ultimately where you're going to find the most impact. This is super crucial. Data handling, you don't need to be an engineer all the way up at the top, but I would say that's somewhere in the middle. Statistical analysis, again, you wanna be competent, but you don't need to be, um, you don't need to be an expert. Um, and then finally, visualization and storytelling. This is actually really important as well because then you're actually communicating your results and doing something with it. So I'm actually gonna place this one kind of high. Um, and this is where I would, uh, uh, emphasize others to try to learn towards if they wanted to go more towards like the business data call it Swiss Army knife type of person now that's my personal preference there's no right answer which is the best part awesome so this was the four pillars of the data science skill set the next video what we're gonna talk about is we're actually gonna look at a leveling guide so within these four different pillars what does it mean to be in level one two three four and five and kind of Think about it as a high jump. What does it mean if you can jump over a certain bar and you're at those different levels? And then the third level, third video, what we're going to talk about is uh, what are the skills you need to learn and learn along the way to get to those levels? So if you're starting data from scratch, what is the first thing that you should be learning within data handling and where do you go and learn that material? Okay, so that is going to be the data science for pillars of the skill sets.